ancient island of Taiwan is a place I visited many years ago. It's been years, but I remember seeing a bunch of kids just dancing. I've returned multiple times, but never on this scale. This time, I'm planning a big solo adventure. Welcome to Yanmingshan National Park, Taiwan's dormant volcano. This is incredible. I didn't think that Taiwan had landscape like this. Using Taiwan's efficient transportation system, I'm stopping in the major cities, making my way around the entire island in three weeks, starting from Taipei and ending in Yilan. What we're going to be doing is taking a day trip to the area of Keelong, a fishing port village. They wrote the language which Netherlands people create for them in that case. We are in the Xinjing farm. This is an area of Taiwan I get to see that I actually didn't even plan on seeing. I think it likes me. We're going to be doing some whale watching and dolphins. Oh. Oh. I've never seen this video twice. First full day exploring Taipei City. I'm quickly finding out that Taichung is not such a sleepy city. On this trip, I'm sampling Taiwan's delights and meeting locals and travelers along the way. I'm at the Dadong Night Market. All right, I have my fill of meat. Pause. You tried it. You don't like it? No. This is just a way for me to decompress. Revisiting old sites from past travels while exploring new ones has given me the opportunity of rediscovering Taiwan. Welcome to Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> She's a speed demon. God help us all. What was getting their kung fu on? That's really cool. This is the one place that I've actually wanted to revisit. Wow, it's still as cool as I remember it. When I came to Taiwan, I knew that I would be seeing some old places, seeing some cities. But what I didn't expect is that I'd be paragliding. It doesn't matter how many times you come to a country, there's always something more to see. That's why I love traveling. 